Hi, I'm Lee, a British vlogger, a kind of a modern day explorer. And I've been living here in Shenzhen for half a decade now. That's right, a full five years. But what's the story behind this marvel of a city? Just 40 years ago, Shenzhen was a small fishing village. And then came Deng Xiaoping, a visionary leader who saw potential where others saw simplicity. He planted a tree here, a symbol of growth and transformation, and set the wheels of change in motion. Shenzhen began to grow, to expand, to dream. From a fishing village, it evolved into a special economic zone, a hub of innovation and progress. And today, Shenzhen stands tall as a testament to the power of ambition and vision. It's a modern metropolis, pulsating with life and opportunities. In less than half a century, this city's GDP has skyrocketed, outperforming even Beijing and Shanghai. Shenzhen isn't just keeping up with the world, it's leading the way. In the five years I've lived in Shenzhen, I've traveled all over and I've discovered many things. But if I had to pick one place that would be my favorite, it would be here, Hua Chan Bay, the Silicon Valley of China. Shenzhen is known as the world's electronics manufacturing hub. And it's all here in Hua Chan Bay. From the smallest microchip to the latest mobile phone, you can find it here. But Hua Chan Bay is not just about buying and selling electronics. It's the birthplace of many ideas. Many tech giants were born right here in Hua Chan Bay. And it's not just the big players. Hua Chan Bay is home to countless smaller tech companies. Startups that are brimming with ideas driven by a relentless pursuit for innovation. This ecosystem of creativity and enterprise, it's the lifeblood of Shenzhen's rapid development. It's what sets the city apart and drives it forward. But Shenzhen isn't all about work and no play. It's the cleanest, greenest city I've ever been to. The air is good and the streets are immaculate. Just take a look at these roads, buses, subways, trains, taxis, all running on electricity. It's really remarkable how Shenzhen has embraced the green transformation. And the parks, oh the parks. These parks aren't just for show. They are the city's longs and they serve as perfect spots for leisure, relaxation and an escape from the urban jungle. Living in Shenzhen has made me understand the importance of sustainable living. It's not just about creating a city that's clean and green today, but also ensuring it stays that way for the generations of tomorrow. And let's not forget the sense of safety. Shenzhen wraps you in a cocoon of security where worries of personal safety are a distant memory. Here's a short clip of my son, Oli, talking about how safe he feels China is. Now, one experience I had when I first came here, it must've been the first week, I would go out of the apartment and I would just walk around for hours in the evening because I was fascinated by what I was seeing, right? And there was one time I was out by myself and it must've been, I think it was about midnight. And just in front of me, I saw, she must've been no older than 16, 17 year old girl just walking alone on her phone and she was strolling like not a care in the world you know and I was looking at her and I was like man I've never seen that back home like I've never been in a city and I would never see such a young girl walking around by herself because that's just not something you want to be doing and you would feel very unsafe doing that in in a western city but here, it's not something they have to be concerned about. So during the time I've been in Shenzhen, I've recorded many, many videos and done many vlogs. Here are just a few clips from some of them. So Gangshan North has been turned into a bit of a mega station here in Shenzhen. It's now an interchange station for five lines. It was malignant. It was a, a cancer uh, underneath my right breast. So I have actually got breast cancer. So right behind me you can see Huawei's new flagship store. This is their biggest store in Shenzhen. Gangxia in the Futian district of Shenzhen to get the old man 
a trim because let's have, let's have a look at that barn it mate it's just a kind of bit wild at the moment isn't it shenzhen is such a welcoming environment and i'm really hoping um, that my daughter and her family will come and visit me here next year and i can't wait to show them around and show them what i've learned and experienced here and watch them enjoy shenzhen just like i have Shenzhen is more than just a city to me. It's my home, where I've grown, where I've learned, and where I've built my life. But as always, for now, take care.